I know that you want to become a data scientist, but then the problem is that you don't know how to do it. You don't know the different things that you have to consider for you to be able to become one. Becoming a data scientist is not actually a walk in the park because you have to go through a lot of tests and you have to pass all of them. Not really excellent, but at least you have substantial skills and knowledge for you to be able to proceed to the next level, and that is to become hired as a data scientist. You can actually enroll in a boot camp. You can actually enroll in an online course. But then, what if you don't have enough time to get these two options? And the only option left for you is that you're going to do self-study. What are you going to do? Are you ready to develop skills and knowledge just on your own? It's not actually easy because there is no one beside you who's going to mentor you, who's going to guide you from step one until such time that you have this enough skills ready for you to get a job as a data scientist. This is actually a problem of a lot of people. It's not that they don't know how to self-study, it's just that they don't understand how to do self-study. And that is what we're going to have this time. What are these things that we need to understand for you to be able to fully ready for self-study? The first thing that you're going to know is that you have to check your readiness to do the self-study. Self-study is not actually for everyone. I am saying this it's because not everybody is capable of being independent as far as studying is concerned. Of course, everybody can study, everybody can read, everybody can do the basic computation, multiplication, subtraction, the addition and the division. But then, not everybody is capable of understanding on his own the more complex processes. Not everybody is gifted with this kind of talent or skills. What you have to do is that you have to really understand if you are really ready to do self-study. So what are we going to do then for us to be able to know if we are really ready for self-study? What you will have to do is that you really have to understand if the skills that are needed to become a data scientist are the skills that you really have on your own. What I mean is that if you have the skills needed to become a data scientist. In our past lessons, we talked about the different skills needed for one person to become a data scientist. So we talked about programming, we talked about the mathematics behind it, and we talked about the domain expertise. And of course, we had some of the other skills. How strong are you in these skills? Do you have them? Do you have substantial knowledge in algebra? Do you have substantial knowledge in programming? Do you have substantial knowledge in probability and statistics? Check yourself. I have been telling you about this one that you really have to check the different skills that you already have and then make comparisons with the skills needed to become a data scientist. Because if you don't understand the skills set needed, then you could not compare that with the set of skills that you already have. By identifying the skills that you don't have, then you can focus on what are these things or these skills that you're going to study. The key things to understand when we're talking about self-study is independence. When we say independence, it has something to do with you have the capacity or the ability to understand and digest ideas, the different concepts on your own without the help of other people. Do you have patience in making research? Do you have patience in surfing the internet? Do you have patience in reading? Do you have patience in synthesizing and analyzing things? And at the end of the day, do you have patience in connecting at different points to be able to make a whole point or ideas. So if you can do independent learning in data science, I think self-study can be the best way to do data science. The second thing that we have to consider if we would like to go to self-study is that 
if we already have the clear understanding of the learning path in data science. So when I say learning path, you have to understand what would be the first course to take, what would be the second course to take, what would be the third course to take, and so on and so forth. So it means that you really have to understand the different prerequisites of one subject or one field so that you would be able to proceed to the next field. Remember that data science is really a very broad field. It encompasses a lot of areas. And so because it encompasses a lot of areas, what you have to do is that you have to be more specific. It's because if you are more specific, then your target is narrow and it's very easy for you to focus. And also if you already understand which field of data science you're going to master, then it would be easier for you to understand what set of skills you're, you are going to master. This is actually a problem of a lot of people who are studying data science. They would like to really get as much as skills as they want. And that is really very wrong. It's because that really confuses you. It does not give you focus. And because it does not give you focus, the result would be that you would not be able to master one set of skill. So in this case, what you really have to do is that you have to master the art of progression. So when I say progression, you have to start from the very basic. And as time goes by, you have to add one idea, one set of skill, and then you could go to the next step. You can go higher and then you can go to the next higher step. You can never learn everything all at once. That's really very dangerous. That's going to give you chaos. That's going to confuse your mind and your passion. And maybe you would like to ask me, Joseph, how are we going to identify the different prerequisites, the different learning paths? What are we going to do? Okay, well, in this kind of point, what you have to do is that you're going to make a research. And this point, you have to go back to our point number one, where, wherein you're going to understand yourself. You always have to go back to yourself. You always have to ask yourself, what are these skills that you still don't have? And you're going to focus first on those skills. And along the way, you could connect the skills that you already have and the skills that you have just learned. But don't forget, it always pays a lot to ask someone. You can ask your friend who is a data scientist, or if you don't have a friend who is a data scientist, you can ask the internet. The internet can give you a lot of answers and you can just study them. You can connect this information that you've discovered on the internet and the information that you've discovered in yourself. And then you're going to make the connections. Learning data science is actually a form of an art. It's an art because it's an expression of yourself and connecting yourself to what is really believed by a lot of people to be the standard. When I say standard, it has something to do with the different course outline that you can find online. So the different famous universities, the different famous learning portals can give you a lot of course online that can help you personalize your data science learning path. And the most important thing is that that is connected to readiness is the degree of your confidence. How confident are you to learn on your own linear algebra, calculus, probability and statistics, programming, just to name a few. This can be very difficult for someone who came from a different background, for someone who is not formally trained mathematician, for someone who is not formally trained statistician or programmers. So you have to really double time. You have to really exert a lot of effort if you would like to really be a data scientist one day. But if you have that degree of confidence, if you have that degree of determination, I think you can really beat the odds. So if you don't have any degree in data science or any related fields, if your knowledge and skills in programming is very minimal or you don't have any knowledge in programming at all, then learning data science can still be possible. Be sure that you have the readiness to do self-study. Be sure that you have personalized learning path. And of course, you have to be really very confident.